Concordia trying to make a push up the standings in the final month of the regular season, playing a team ahead of them, the Sioux Falls Cougars. Golden Bears hoping to get back into fi two 500 in conference play on their home floor. So looking for a fast start coming out. They'd get very good post defense in the early going as Annika Whiting rejected this attempt by Tegan Moulton. It was Whiting on the offensive uh, end of the floor as well. She controlled the game early on with the turnaround jumper there. Sioux Falls sharing the ball, though, a cutting Allison Klostergaard, getting it to go off glass. Concordia really feeding the post in the opening minutes. Keonda Nix that time with the turnaround jumper. And then off the inbound, Annika Whiting given space, so she knocks down the three at nine points in the first four minutes of the game. In transition, Taylor Varsho able to find Tegan Moulton for the baseline jumper. And transition, Michelle Jones to just take it herself. That works too. Clear path for the basket gets the layup. Lauren Shiflett had a huge first half using the fortunate bounce there to get a three off the kick out. Shiflett would finish with a career high 21 points. Sam Connect getting space inside for that layup. Shiflett would attack the basket as well, drawing contact, getting it to go for a three point play opportunity. JC Ulmer had a big first half as she went on a scoring spurt. The layup in transition, then able to knock down the three. Concordia building a big lead. Sioux Falls would rally back within seven. They got this bucket from Marie Malloy. Concordia then a late run. They led 44-30 at halftime. Early on in the second half, it was the Cougars putting another run together. This bucket from Allison Klostergaard. She would get another off the feed from Taylor Varsho as Sioux Falls again cut it down to seven. Concordia would find another answer. Annika Whiting taking it herself in transition for the bucket. And Whiting continued to run the floor effectively. Another make there. Concordia would get the lead back to 17, but again, it was a rally for the Cougars. Driving play by uh, Marie Malloy, then off the kick out, J.C. Ulmer knocks down another three. Sioux Falls would actually take the lead late in this one. Tegan Molden with the straight on three. They caught fire from long range. This bucket from Sam Connect helping out as well, but Concordia making just enough plays to rally. They played good defense down the stretch. Keonda Nix with a big bucket here off the feed from Whiting. Tegan Molden would get this bucket late for Sioux Falls, but it was not quite enough. Concordia hangs on for the win over Sioux Falls. The cheerleaders, the fans enjoying the action. Concordia will look for a perfect weekend at home tomorrow against Southwest Minnesota State.